Well, plenty of parents in Mobile County have questions about the plan to reverse course with public schools. The district made an about face on their original plan to be remote for nine weeks. Nicolette Sleisman is live at ER Dixon Elementary School with more on why the system made this decision. Nicolette? Yeah, Devin, and some students will start going back to classrooms across Mobile County starting on Monday, and school officials say that they are ready to have those kids back. The normally bustling hallways, quiet as students take their classes from home. All right, mute. Mackenzie, you ready? Teachers feed off of students' energy. So we are, we're looking forward to having the heartbeat of the school to come back. Mobile County Public Schools made the surprise announcement yesterday. Students would begin a phased return to the classroom. Mixed uh, feelings, uh, just shocked. <laughs> the school system says while they did listen to parents' concerns about remote learning, the number of COVID-19 cases is the reason they think it's time to go back. Yes, Cameron. I've been monitoring them, Mr. Fred McGill, now feels more comfortable with us coming back because they have gone down. We were high risk when the decision was made and now we're low risk. Mm -hmm. Some parents we spoke with last week chose to send their children to MCPSS because of the nine week remote learning plan. I trust them. They're going to try to do the best they can to keep our children safe. Difficulties here. Administrators and teachers are now learning to adapt to the new plan, which starts in less than four days. So each week as we add another layer of uh, students, we're going to see how the previous week worked and then add to that and, and get ready for full capacity. As parents make the decision whether or not to send their children back to school. I haven't made the complete choice yet. I'm going to do whichever one's best. And the school system says a lot of the school day will remain the same. Teachers will be offering the remote lessons at the same time as the students in class receive their instruction. And students will be keeping those Chromebooks. They'll still be using Schoology for their classrooms. And if they need to return home for any reason, they'll already have them checked out. Reporting live at Dixon Elementary School, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5.